today with me, I have registered dietitian and soon to be bride, 605 dietitian, Kelsey Johnson. Hi, Kelsey. Thanks for joining us today. Um, tell us who you are, what you do, and how you can serve brides and grooms. Well, thank you so much, Anna, for having me today. Um, I am, like she said, 605 dietitian, Kelsey Johnson, and I am bride-to-be in early June this year. So kind of fun fact about my wedding date, it's on 605, which is kind of cool that my business name is also 605. So no one will ever forget it, and it helps me remember the date. So I think it's perfect. So thank you so much for having me, Anna. So tell us a little bit more about your business and how you got started as a registered dietitian and how you can serve future brides and grooms. Yeah, great question. So I started out, I have been in this business for about three and a half years. I started out as a registered dietitian, kind of almost by a fault. I was actually a pre-medicine major in college and fell in love with nutrition, kind of by the help of my roommate, but nutrition has always been a passion of mine. In high school, I lost almost 90 pounds. I went on a weight loss journey, and it was just something that kind of was, this is my place to serve and to help people and kind of give my perspective on how nutrition was so important to my life and my journey and where I'm at today. And I just love serving others, showing them how practical and easy nutrition can be once you get those few steps that are just kind of like your basics that you want to get knocked out. And also just kind of realizing that life happens. I think this was the biggest thing for me as being a bride to be. There's so many pressures in the wedding industry of my body has to look a certain way. I have to eat a certain thing. I have to be in a certain style of dress. And I think just kind of realizing that you are in control of what you decide you want for your wedding. You don't have to pick what these cult or what these influences want us to pick. So I think that was just kind of refreshing for me um, as a bride to be, but also is kind of something I like to hear as um, someone that's big in the diet industry, or I should say the health industry, because not everyone that comes to a registered dietitian is looking for that weight loss. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for sharing. So if a bride were come to you, what is your biggest piece of advice for brides to be the best version of themselves for their wedding day? Yeah, I think that is hits it right on the spot being the best version of yourself. So the biggest thing is you want to make sure you're nourishing your body. Um, I always say the most important things, there's really three things you want to focus on, focusing on lots of fruits and vegetables we don't get enough fruits and vegetables. If we're busy, we're on the go. We're not going to grab a bag of veggies or an apple as our first choice. We always think of things like more convenient items that we might choose. So I always say, if you're prepared and you have those fresh fruits and veggies prepped and ready to go, it's going to make it so much easier. They're going to fill your body with tons of vitamins and minerals, fiber. They're really going to help you to feel full and satisfied and give your body that baseline nutrition. Also protein, protein is huge. We don't always focus on protein. That's probably the most important recommendation I have on your wedding day is to eat a protein packed breakfast, whether that's eggs or you wanna have yogurt, you need to have something with protein because the worst thing that could happen is you're feeling hungry or I call it hangry in the middle of your wedding photos. So protein so important and then hydration, hydration, hydration. So. Um, some people are afraid to drink too much water because they feel like they might feel bloated in their stomach um, on their wedding day. But actually, you want to make sure you're hydrated because if you're not, it can do the opposite effect. So you want to really make sure small amounts of water throughout the day always have something with you. Those are probably the three most important tips I would have. That's great advice. And like you said, no photographer wants a hangry bride during their photos. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for sharing. Um, so some questions I had for some, from some of my followers to start, what foods do you recommend serving on a wedding day? And kind of to assist with that question, how do you cater to food sensitive people on your wedding day? Do you have any recommendations of what they should serve and what kind, what kind of foods they should taste best? Yeah, that is actually a really great, great question. And it kind of worked well for us because I... Um, have a gluten sensitivity or gluten allergy. So I don't eat gluten. And so that was kind of something interesting to navigate with my fiance and myself, because we kind of have different diet um, preferences that we have to follow. So I always say 
when you are trying to pick out what you're going to have for a meal, we also had to consider we were going to have some vegetarian guests at our wedding. And how do you cater to that? So I always say you want to pick a caterer option. I typically recommend if you're a Midwest bride, you're probably going to want to have a beef option, but also have either a chicken or a fish or a pork option because some people choose to not eat red meat or they want something lighter at the time, but also ask, does your vent or does your caterer have a vegetarian option? Sometimes they might have a pasta option or a portobello mushroom option. Just kind of check with that. If you only have one to two guests that are vegetarian, sometimes they know ahead of time and they are completely fine with maybe eating something small and then they're going to load up on the potatoes or the salad or the other good stuff at the wedding. So just kind of being in tune with your guests but the biggest, most important thing is on your details card, make sure you have a section where it says, do you have any dietary preferences or concerns? Because we had another one we didn't think about was our green beans at our wedding actually had tree nuts in them. And we have some severe tree nut allergies in our bridal party. So that was Nick's call because I didn't even think to ask that. And he's like, is there tree nuts in this when we were at our <laughs> caterer? So be a questioning bride. That's my best advice in any area, whether it's food, um, decor, the venue, anything, be a questioning bride, be on top of your game, listen to different um, wedding professionals like us, try to get insight on different things you can be questioning. The more I never say there's too many questions to ask when you're a bride. Absolutely, that's awesome, thank you. Um, one of the other questions, and kind of a question for me as well, are there any kinds of foods we should avoid before, you know, like leading up to our wedding day that could either one bloat us, two make our skin break out? Um, what kind of foods should we be eating up to that wedding day? <clears throat> okay, so I kind of want to start this one out. I think that's a very interesting question. I would say the biggest thing is the only foods you should avoid before your wedding are foods you either have an allergy to or you have an intolerance to. Really, there's no bad food at all. There's just simply bad portions. So it's all about portion control, which kind of leads into what I recommend is doing the plate method. So anytime you sit down to a meal or a snack, envision that you would have a plate, half of that plate should always be fruits and veggies. They're gonna be the bulk of your meal that will fill you up and give you nutrients without a lot of calories and then focus on a lean protein. I always talk about the differences of proteins. You could have a higher fat protein, let's say like a brat or a sausage or a higher fat piece of steak, and then like a lean grilled chicken breast or a lean steak or lean hamburger. This difference here is going to be about 100 calories per ounce. So if you have three ounce protein, that's 300 calories right there difference in your protein alone. So kind of choosing those leaner proteins, those are gonna help you to stay full. And also if you are trying to lose a little bit of weight or just trying to tone, those are the proteins to focus on. And then choosing a whole grain. So you wanna be filling up with like wheat bread, 100% whole wheat bread, a sweet potato, some type of whole grain carb at your meal to help you stay full. And then the biggest piece of advice is you want to eat more often. Some people, when they're looking to lose weight or looking to, you know, tone up for their wedding, they naturally go to eating less. Well, I actually recommend we eat more. You're just going to eat more of foods that are more nutrient dense and have less calories. So you're in that calorie deficit. So awesome. that's kind of what I would say would be my recommendations when you're looking to do that. And the best thing is you need to pair that healthy eating with exercise. So whether you're going to do walking, I always recommend to do at least two days of some type of cardio or um, strength training exercises as well. So weights or some type of cycling class or something that has some strength component in it. That's awesome. I feel like it's all of a mind game. Mostly it's just retraining your brain to think about how you can be the best version of yourself and not just um, feeding into this like diet culture that um, has kind of emerged. So thank you for sharing all of your expertise. Um, if a bride would like to reach out to you, how can you serve them? Where can they find you? Um, tell us a little bit more about how we can um, use you as an asset to planning our wedding. 
Yeah, excellent. So um, best way to get a hold of me is over on my Instagram at 605 Dietitian, or you can check me out on my website, um, www.605dietitian.com. And I do have a resource page of all my services on there. I would say the biggest thing I would recommend if you're someone that's trying to, you know, tone up for your wedding, eat a little bit healthier is my menu planning service. I customize different ideas and I give you all the recipes for like a 30 day menu plan. And that is like the one I would say people like, cause it kind of takes the work out of menu planning, but I also have lots of other services I offer. And I do have a free discovery call. If you're kind of interested and you want to see what else I got for you, that's what I'd recommend. So Instagram, my website, or you can check me out on TikTok and Facebook, all my platforms, 605 dietitian. Awesome. I do have to say your TikToks are super enjoyable. So keep going, girl. <laughs> yes, they well, are fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time and um, all the brides that are watching this or grooms head over to Kelsey. She's a wonderful human and we're so excited for you as you continue this journey as um, your passion and your calling. So thank you for joining us today and um, head over to her page if you have any other questions. Thank you, Kelsey.